Hello everyone, long time no see. Um, there's quite a lot of changes as you can tell. This is this is new park housing, which is quite different from the old park housing, mainly because it's, ooh, I don't know, about 15 miles south, and I'm about as close to town as I was in the last place, but I have to cross a mountain now to get into town, so yeah, there you go. Um, actually, um, I think it might be a good idea to take you on a little tour, so hang on, let me show you what this place looks like. See, here's what the outside looks like. It's, uh, there's my car for scale. It's a 2015 Hyundai Accent. Okay, here we are inside. This is the front door, and, uh, it's a little bit of a mess in here. I should warn you about that right now. Uh, this is the like breakfast nook area as you can see it's got all my junk all over it and there's some tools there because i was installing all these venetian blinds so i got a little privacy in here it's oh look it's the old movie explorer uh pith helmet <laughs> remember that yeah and here we have uh my display items it's just like johannes brahms the captain cool and the kongs did i ever show you that the captain cool and the kongs tambourine. I found that for free at a recycling center. I'm sure it's uh, worth some money, but, you know, I couldn't find any evidence of it even existing on eBay, so, you know, I have no idea what it's worth. But, yeah, the... the <laughs> you'll recognize the other items, the Pringles can and the olive oil uh, plum drink. <laughs> and you'll recognize, you know, Dirty Bill over here and... Uh, Benjamin and uh, my presidential Pez dispensers. Uh, so yeah, you can see that I've actually taken the time to, you know, decorate a little bit in here. Just even though I've only been here like a week, I there's my very small refrigerator which won't support a full-sized <laughs> bottle, a carton of milk. And here we have my stove top where I I boil water for coffee and make food and the oven doesn't work it's uh, the pilot light lights but i can't actually get the oven to actually do anything hopefully that will change in the near future and uh, water filter pitcher which i need and uh, this is this is the kitchen sink and let's go into the back here and past all the my toaster oven i don't have a microwave yet but that's going to change soon hopefully uh, and there's the laptop which i is my only source of entertainment and my my cell phone I, I went through the thing about the dropping the cell phone in the water last season didn't i here's where i sleep it's just a, a little bed and those blinds come down well those blinds usually live down just so that i'm not seen and uh my park uniforms and their attendant patches are artfully covered with crap including my laptop bag so yeah, that's it. It's uh, this. This used to be a heater, but now I only have this. Let me show you the little space heater. It's, it's small, but it works. So yeah, that's that's where I live right now. So there you go. So there you have it. That's what it looks like. Uh, that's where I'm going to be for the next nine months or so. Uh, what else is new with me? I. I uh, last time around this, uh, last year around this time, I told you that I went to my first beard and mustache con competition. Well, this time I actually took part. And <laughs> there were four people in my category, and I came fourth. <laughs> and I know that I came fourth because they only, they, you know, called three people up to get awards. And I was, <laughs> I said, oh, well, I don't want to take a home a big old piece of metal anyway. Oh my, these grapes are sour. <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. It was an experience. I got to see my old friend Regev again, who you remember from the photo last year. Uh, we didn't take a group photo this year. I don't know why, but but yeah. I, anything else new? Uh, not really. Um, apart from the new job. Uh, is there anything else really new? There probably is. I'm just blanking on actually thinking about it. Yes, my hair looks a little more red. I actually added henna to it. It's, uh... And people I've just... 
like my coworkers think that this is my natural hair color. Nope. <laughs> yeah. So I confirm bachelors. I still am kind of working on that, just sort of on and off. I'm trying to get uh, Act 1 of the first episode presented as a stage play. I think I told you something about that last season, but this year I'm really going to try and make that happen. I'm going to uh, contact some local theater people, see if they can, you know, s see if I can ac actually make this happen, because I really do, I, I just... I'm really attached to these characters, and I really want to make... I really want this to go somewhere. So, that's kind of where I stand right now. Uh, actually, yeah, I I forgot. I have something to taste right now. But I have to go back and get it, because I completely forgot to bring it over with me. It's in my tiny little refrigerator, which you saw earlier. I'll be back with it, and uh, we'll continue then. All right, here's what I have to taste. It's, uh, where would we be without our good old friends at Hung Fook Tong? I don't know. That's kind of where this show... They're almost the sponsor of this show, aren't they? But, yes, this time we have sugar cane and sea coconut with carrot drink. That's what it looks like. It's got some lovely Chinese text on it, which I can't read, but I'm sure it just says sugar cane and sea coconut with carrot. I mean... It's just kind of logical, isn't it? But yes, uh, another wonderful find at the 99 Ranch for what was on sale. <laughs> uh, I, I thought I'd exhausted all of Hung Fuk Tong's offerings, but I guess not. Um, yeah, that has kind of a vaguely vegetable-y taste, but not, nothing really strong. Uh, smell. I, I keep saying taste when I mean smell. Why do I keep doing that? Anyway, down the hatch. There's kind of an aftertaste of carrot, but it's not really strong. It's a little bit sweet, but not super cloyingly sweet. It's... I don't know, it has kind of a a vegetable-y taste, but it's not offensively so. Um, <laughs> I don't really want to say that I like it, because it's not... But I wouldn't say that I dislike it, either. It's just, I'm kind of indifferent to this, actually. This isn't bad. This does taste very Hung Fook Tong-y in a kind of a way. But there's... Yeah, you can taste the coconut a little bit. Um, you can taste the sugar cane, and you can taste you, you can actually taste all three things, but they it's weird because you kind of taste one then the other. The sugar cane is, I think, the most uh, prominent thing here. It does taste kind of like sugar cane drink with a little a little something extra. Yeah, eh, I'm I'm not a huge fan of sugar cane drink, frankly, but. Um, I don't know. If if you like it and you want something a little more coconutty and carroty, then this might be for you. <laughs> it's it it's not unrefreshing, I'll put it that way. Anyway, that's all I got for now, so see you around. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!